What's going on, everybody? This is Brian from SneakerFiles.com, recapping the news. And before I jump into things, like always, greatly appreciate a thumbs up. And if you're new here, subscribe by hitting the button below. Now, as for some of the highlights in this video, we have a release date for the Air Jordan 14 Black Toe and the Air Jordan 5 Black Cat. As well, we have a first look at the Air Jordan 4 White Thunder and the Air Jordan 1 High OG First in Flight. Now, there's a lot more from Jordan brand, and the rest of the video will be from Nike, and Nike has a solid lineup as well. Got quite a few releases from Kobe, as well as KD, and more. And now, without wasting too much more of your time, let's jump into the news. We have a potential release date for the Nike KD-17 Sunrise. Now this will be the first colorway of the KD-17 to release and the inspiration for this shoe comes from the Air Max Plus. And as of now, the expected release date is April 12th, although that isn't confirmed and the retail price will be 150. The Nike Air Max 1 Grand Piano is returning in 2024. This pair was originally released in 2009 and was sold exclusively at Fantasy, which is a boutique in Taiwan. Only 400 pairs were available, but for the next release, the shoes will be a general release. So that means more pairs, of course, and the specific colorway is white, black, metallic gold, and pink rise. Now, the only difference between this pair and the 2009 release is that they won't come with fantasy branded locks. However, they will come with two lace locks, one in black, one in pink. The shoes also feature black patent leather on the mudguard, around the ankle, and a little bit above the toe, and then we have metallic gold patent leather around the heels. Now, another nice detail on the shoe is the pink velvet on the liner. And other details includes a white midsole and a pink rubber outsole. So at the time of recording, we don't have a release date nor a retail price. They are expected to either release later this spring or summer and more info coming soon. Official images just leaked of the Nike LeBron 4 eggplant, which gives us our first look. So you guys might remember several months ago, I talked about this shoe. I showed a mock-up which was on point to what is releasing. It was an accurate one. Now I do know some people were calling them Lakers and that is incorrect. They never were called Lakers from the brand. There's no gold on this shoe. Plus the foam posit one eggplant was recently released. Both shoes use foam posit on the upper and it's basically a nod to the foam posit one. For me, the LeBron 4 is my favorite model from his line. This is a definite pickup for me. Let me know your thoughts down below. But for now, we don't have a specific release date. They are expected to debut this summer, and the retail price will be $250. That is definitely steep. So I might just hold off on picking these up right away and wait until they go on sale. Nike Basketball is releasing a Team Bank series of the Nike Kobe 8 Pro Tro. So far, we have two colorways, one in wolf gray, the other in university red. So since we don't have a ton of photos, I'm going to just go over both in this segment instead of spreading it out in two. First, we have the wolf gray pair and the shoe features a wolf gray and white color combination. For those that don't know, Team Bank, also known as TB, they're basically colorways that can easily be matched to basketball uniforms. A lot of schools will buy them and stuff like that. So we have a first look here and as you can see, the photo isn't that great, but it does feature wolf gray across the upper. And then we have white detailing on the midsole. It's possible that we also have it on the Kobe branding and his signature. It's just kind of hard to tell because the photo isn't that great. The swoosh can also be white, but it looks more like a cream hue in this photo. Now for the University Red Pair, which in my opinion, I think is a bit nicer. It features red across the upper. And then we have white on the swoosh. Hill, Kobe Signature, as well as his logo on the tongue and the lower part of the midsole and the rubber outsole. Now, both pairs are expected to release fall 2024. Unfortunately, we don't have a specific release date for the two and the retail price will be 190 each. Also, they will be available in grade school sizes, which will cost 120. Last week, Vanessa Bryant gave us a preview of an upcoming Kobe release. 
and the pair is the Nike Kobe 5 Pro Tro X-Ray. Now, it was only an image of the top of the shoe and of the rubber outsole which glows in the dark, but this pair is said to be inspired by the t-shirt that Nike released which featured an x-ray of Kobe Bryant's hand after he broke it, and the shirt also has him wearing five championship rings. Now, there's been a lot of photoshops of this shoe going around, and I wanted to hold off on talking about the shoe just because I knew there was more information on them and it seems like a lot of people were just running with whatever but this pair will feature a deep royal blue Baltic blue and glacier blue color combination now right off the bat you'll see that there is a skeleton of his hand or just a skeleton in general that overlays the top of the shoe this reminds me a lot of those Air Force one lows that dropped for Halloween I believe there was two or three colorways I'm not entirely sure Personally, I hated that shoe. The first pair was nice, but then I felt Nike was just driving it into the ground. But I'm sure that won't steer people away from buying this shoe. I'm sure it's nice as well, especially the shades of blue. Also, the very shades of blue is a nod to the shades that are commonly seen on an x-ray. Other than that, we don't have much more information. We just have these preview photos. And as for a release date, we don't have a specific one. However, they are rumored to debut in October, potentially a Halloween release, and the retail price will be 190 Also, these will be available in grade school sizes for 120 We finally have a first look at the Nike KD4 Nerf. For the first time, they will return to retailers. They were originally dropped in 2011 as a limited drop. This time around, they'll be more of a general release. They won't be available everywhere, but there definitely will be more pairs than the original drop. And this pair originally dropped on December 17th, 2011. Now, from what I can tell, these photos look on point to the original drop. Now, it would be cool if they come with special packaging. Unfortunately, we don't have photos of the packaging just yet. But there is a possibility because the retail price traditionally is $130 for the KD4. This time around, it's going to be $150. The $20 increase could be due to Nike needing the license to use Nerf, or it could be because it comes with special packaging. Now, when I learned about this shoe returning, I wasn't told if they're going to come with special packaging or not. I just knew that they were going to drop again. And this is a pair that I'm definitely looking forward to. I didn't get the OG because, well, they were limited and they were reselling for a crazy amount of money. I don't know if they still are. I'm sure they are, though. And as for a release date, we don't have a specific one. However, they are expected to return in July. And the retail price, like I mentioned, is $150. Let me know if you plan on picking these up. For me, definite pickup. Moving on to Jordan brand. And anytime I have the chance to showcase new photos and good photos of the Air Jordan 4 Military Blue, I'm definitely going to do it. And recently some product images came out, which in my opinion makes me want them even more. And for those that don't know, in recent news, the release date was changed and that's unfortunate. They were originally expected to drop in April, but they've been delayed until May. But not too far into May and I'll talk about more on that in a moment. But for those that don't know, Jordan Brand is celebrating the 35th anniversary of the Air Jordan 4. That's why we're seeing a lot more releases. And just overall, the Air Jordan 4 is hyped. Jordan Brand knows it. The Air Jordan 1 died, so they're going to start dropping more Jordan 4s. This pair originally released in 1989. We saw the first retro take place in 2006. And then the last time we saw them was in 2012. Now the 2006 and the 2012 pair, I still own dead stock. Eventually I'm going to get my hands on the 1989 pair. I know they're gonna be pretty crumbled when I do, but I do have some OG Jordans from the early 90s and the 80s that haven't completely crumbled. They're still kind of intact, but I know it's only a matter of time before they disintegrate. But this pair I'm definitely picking up. I'm gonna try to get two pairs of these. And the release date is scheduled for May 4th. And the retail price is 215 So they went up 5 bucks. I personally don't mind it just because I really want this colorway. Also, they will be available in full family sizing. Let me know if you plan on grabbing the Air Jordan 4 Military Blue when they drop. There's a couple shoes that leaked not too long ago. However, I believe I did a different video, the Summer 2024 releases. So I didn't include them in it just because it was strictly for those shoes. 
Now, I did want to cover them in this one since it is a news video, and the first one is the Air Jordan 11 Diffused Blue. Now, we recently received a first look at the shoes, and to me, they look pretty nice. The actual colorway is white, midnight navy, diffused blue, and football gray. Originally, we were calling them white navy, but the diffused blue nickname just fits them a little bit better. So we have that shade of blue on the patent leather mudguard. It also hits the liner and some of the branding throughout. And then we have white on the upper and the midsole. From these photos, I really don't see any football gray. Unless that is on the upper or some other place and it's due to the lighting that it really doesn't look gray. But I kind of doubt that. Other than that, we have a milky translucent rubber outsole to complete the look. So these were originally part of the summer 2024 collection, but they were delayed. So now they're part of the fall 2024 collection and the specific release date is August 17th and the retail price is 190. The second pair that leaked around the time when I dropped my summer 2024 video was the Air Jordan 3 Cement Gray. So this looks completely different than the mock-ups that were going around. It's not a bad colorway, it's not great either, at least in my opinion. And the actual colorway is Summit White, Fire Red, Cement Gray, and Black. So going over the pair, they feature white leather up top. We have gray on the midsole, as well as a darker shade of gray on the elephant print. Black covers the liner. And then we have red on the Jumpman located on the tongue. The Jumpman on the heel is done in black. We also have a little bit of age detailing on the midsole. And then a gray rubber outsole completes the look. Now, if you're interested in grabbing this pair, they drop on August 31st. They will be available in full family sizing. So we have men's priced at 200, 150 for grade school, 90 for preschool, and 75 for toddler sizes. A few days ago, images leaked of the Air Jordan 1 High OG first in flight. Now this shoe was said to be inspired by the University of North Carolina and the Wright brothers. So the Wright brothers, who are named Orville, I believe that's how you pronounce it, and Wilbur, were American aviation pioneers generally credited with inventing, building, and flying the world's first successful airplane. So as for the color blocking, it somewhat resembles a reverse Marquette PE, and the specific colorway is University Blue, University Gold, Cell, and Midnight Navy. Now I talked about this shoe in my 2024 Air Jordan release dates video. I did supply a photo, it was a mock-up, I didn't know how it was going to look. However, information was leaked that was incorrect. Not on my part, because what I talked about in the video, they featured University Gold, but what other people were showcasing, they had no gold whatsoever. Not in the color description, nor their mock-up. So, although I didn't know what they were going to look like, I did have the accurate colorway. And overall, I love what they did here. So, we have University Blue on the swoosh, ankle, down the eye stays, laces, and around the toe. And then we have white on the base, toe box, tongue, and the midsole. There is a little bit of gold that fills in the Wings logo on the ankle, as well as some of the unique branding that covers the insoles. Other than that, we have Midnight Navy around the hill, tongue label, and the ankle overlay. And also on the tongue labels, not only do we have Nike Air branding, but first in flight. Other details includes a white midsole and a navy rubber outsole. So the unfortunate part for a lot of people is that this is a women's exclusive release. Now, when I say that, I don't mean any disrespect to the women. We all know that the sneakers want to be bought by both men and women. So this is a shoe that, once again, I do feel that they should drop women's and men's specific sizes of. But hey, that's just my opinion. But the release date is July 6th and the retail price will be 180 They'll also be available in preschool sizes for 85 and toddler sizes will cost 70 Speaking of first looks, we also have a first look at the Air Jordan 4 White Thunder. Now these are pretty much on point to the Photoshop that was put out by Z Sneakerhead, Z and I, as well as other images that were going around. And this pair expands on the Thunder series, which originally dropped in 2006. That pair featured yellow, that's the OG pair. We saw a retro of that shoe take place in 2012, and once again in 2023. As well, Jordan Brand released the Red Thunder pair, which swapped to yellow for red in 2022. This time around, they're swapping yellow for white. And to go over the shoes, it looks like they feature black suede on the upper. And then we have white underneath the mesh, the eyelets, Jumpman on the tongue, most of the midsole, and the Jumpman on 
the heel. Other than that, we have a black rubber outsole. So just a clean, straightforward look. I could see where these could become beaters, at least for me. And for now, the release date is August 24th. They will be available in full family sizes. So we have men's price at 215, grade school at 160, preschool at 100, and toddler sizes at 85. We have a couple new release dates for holiday 2024. Very, very soon I'm going to drop a holiday 2024 Air Jordan release dates guide, so be on the lookout for that. I just wanted to include these two pairs for this video since I posted it on Instagram. And the first pair is the Air Jordan 5 Black Cat. Now, before I get into things, this image is a mock-up. What actually releases will in fact look different. I was told by my sources, although they couldn't exactly tell me the color blocking, they said, yeah, these are gonna look different than the mock-up that you put out. I know a lot of people love this mock-up. They thought it looked clean, but unfortunately we're going to get something different. Now the actual colorway is anthracite, black, and off noir. One thing I really hope that isn't different is the outsole. I hope they don't have a icy blue translucent outsole, make it dark. The whole theme is supposed to be dark, so don't mess it up that way, at least in my opinion. But we'll probably get a first look within the next couple of months. Hopefully my source is able to give me an accurate description of what releases so I could have a mock-up created and then share it with you guys. So I'll be asking him very soon. I know he watches the video, so maybe he'll hit me up after watching. And this pair will debut on December 7th. They will be available in full family sizes, so we have men's priced at 210, grade school at 160, preschool at 100, and toddler sizes at 85. I really wish Jordan Brand would drop them just like this, but hopefully what releases looks better, but we'll have to wait and see. Last up for today, we have a release date for the Air Jordan 14 Black Toe. Now, you guys all know the 14 is my favorite model from Jordan Brand. But the Black Toe is my second favorite release of 2024. The first will be the Air Jordan 4 Military Blue. Now my favorite colorway of the Air Jordan 14 is the University Blue Pair. It was available exclusively via East Bay back in 99, I believe. It could have been 98. The story I was told was that the leftover pairs that were made as PEs for the UNC Tar Heels, they went to East Bay to be sold. And honestly, I just really want the Air Jordan 4 Military Blue with Nike Air branding closest as it's been to the OG. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm very excited for this pair. For 2024, the official colorway is white, varsity red, black, and metallic silver. They will come just like they did in 1998. They won't have the ribbing like they did on the 2006 Retro. I know some people were asking me about that, and I know people like the ribbing that was on that retro as well as on what's being called the Candy Cane Air Jordan 14. But yeah, this is going to be a true to OG drop. And as of now, the release date is November 2nd. The retail price will be 210 Also, they will be available in grade school sizes and the retail price for those is 150 One more thing. The images you're looking at is the 2014 release. This is not the 2024. We'll probably get a first look at the 2024 pair in maybe three to four months, give or take. But let me know your thoughts on the Black Toe Air Jordan 14 returning. I'm definitely excited about this shoe. Another pair I plan on grabbing two pairs of, one to wear and then one to throw into my collection. And that's going to do it for this video. Like always, greatly appreciate you guys for watching. If you have a second and haven't done so already, also appreciate a thumbs up. And if you're new here, subscribe by hitting the button below. As well, turn on the notification bell so you can be alerted every time I drop a new video. Now, I'm going to have a video on Sunday. Yes, on Sunday, I have to release it then. I have a special campaign with a company. They wanted me to drop the video on Sunday. I'm cool with that. I'm going to work on the video this weekend, have it live to you guys on Sunday. I know Sundays are usually family days, but if you have some time, check it out. If not, then stop by, check it out on Monday. But for this video, let me know what you liked or disliked down in the comment section below. As well, if you have any questions, leave that down below. Again, thanks for watching. Stay tuned to sneakerfiles.com. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe.